Hello everyone, in today's session we are going to discuss about Kogan and self-organizing map. So it is the neural network model that follows an unsupervised learning uh, structure. Uh, so it follows a competitive neural network uh, structure where uh, you will be having a lot of input paths without any targets given. So that's why we call it as an unsupervised learning. You will be having a lot of input neurons and that will cluster among themselves into a groups based on the distance matrix. Okay, so here it follows the principle of winner takes all. So what we exactly do is, this is the architecture of your self-organizing map. You will have a lot of input neurons and uh, in the next side you have a lot of cluster units. So what we do, we present your input, find the distance between the input pattern for each and every cluster. And whichever has the minimum distance, we take that as a meaning unit. And it also follows the principle of topological uh, preservation structure. So it follows the principle that if a cluster is near to this unit, like if C2 is the meaning unit, all nearby unit also have the same effect. Okay, so what it do, it will update the weight of all the unit near to the winning unit. So it is the principle called winner takes all. Okay, so what exactly it is, is like we have a uh, input path to be presented using any of the distance matrix formula might be a Euclidean distance or a Manhattan distance function. We calculate the distance between the input presented to each and every cluster and one unit is chosen as the best or the winner unit based on the minimal weight of your output. For example, if I present my first pattern and if the values assigned for each and every cluster, or if C1 has the minimum value, I choose C1 as the winning unit. And what I do, I update weight only for the links of C1. Okay, and for C1 and the neurons that are like the clusters that are near to the uh, C1 will be taken into, into it. Like the weights will be updated for the remaining units too. Okay, so that is why we call it as a topology preservation structure. See here, if this is the winning unit with the radius of 1, I take these two clusters too. I update weight for this, for this unit and for this unit. And if I set the radius as 2, I have to include the remaining units too. Okay, it need not to be in the structure, it might be in any of the structure. We find all the neurons that are near to the winning unit. We try to update weight for those links that are connected to the clusters too. So this is the algorithm for self-organizing map. So first initialization. So here uh, I have, uh, we have a lot of things to be initialized. First you have all the weight vectors to be initialized and we have a learning weight and we have to fix the radius of the clusters that we are going to update. For example, if I fix my radius as 1, I have to take all these clusters nearby. The uh, unit that I have taken has to be updated. So this is initialized in the starting stage. All the weight vector, the learning rate followed by the radius will be initialized. And what we do, we uh, will be checking for the stopping criteria. So this is the place where exactly the algorithm starts. You will be having a lot of input training path. So we start from one by one. So one set of input path will be taken and we are going to present it here and we calculate the Euclidean distance. Euclidean distance is nothing but this weight vector minus this W11. Okay, if I am just calculating for this winning unit Y1, so I have to find all the links that are connected to Y1, this cluster C1. So X1 minus W11 the whole square x2 minus w21 the whole square, xn minus wm1 the whole square. We calculate that and that will be calculated for each and every cluster. Okay, so this is the distance between the presented input pattern and the cluster. And the next step is to choose the best winning unit. Okay, we choose whichever uh, j, whichever cluster the resultant value is minimal, we choose that as the winning unit. Okay, so now what we do, once we choose the winning unit, I have to update the weights and the weight updation is done only for that circle. See, if C2 is chosen as the winning unit, I will be updating the weight of all the links connected to C2. Like you have 1, 2, 2, 2, M2. Okay, so for all I, J, J will be the cluster that is winning unit. I am going ahead with the formula for weight updation, old minus uh, learning rate followed by xi minus wij old. So this is the formula we use for weight updation. And this is not only done for this j, the winning cluster alone, along with the radius. 
in the given radius we are going to update all the neurons connected to the all the clusters that are connected to the billing unit okay so that is very important principle that you want to know so once this is done for one of the pattern i am going to repeat it for all n number of patterns okay my data set might be consisting of 10 or 20 input training pair for all the input training pair i am going to repeat this step i calculate the distance choose one billing unit update weight go back take the next pair and do it okay from step 3 to 5 i am going to do this for all okay so once all my units are sent okay if i have 10 of my uh, input pair when i put all my uh, when i train my model with all my 10 inputs at a time i have to repeat it so the one step includes all 10 okay so that is your one single iteration next time i'm going to start from the first step on i again fit uh, start entering into this s1 if s1 s2 till s10 is my input pattern that has to be presented first i take s1 apply it for all this value calculate the cluster weights select the billing unit update weight go back choose s2 apply it i have to do it for all 10 okay so this is one single iteration now again i have to start repeating the process so when i am going ahead with the second iteration i try to update my learning rate and if i want i can reduce the radius of the structure too okay so this is how your algorithm works and the stopping criteria usually will be the number of iterations okay my algorithm will run only for 100 iterations or sometimes when i present all my 10 of my uh, uh, neurons it is classified clearly so why do i want to start again okay so that will be the second if there is no weight updation happening then we can go ahead with stopping criteria okay so this is how your self organizing map this topological preservation is very important and the way it clusters for unsupervised learning winner takes all okay so these two are the important principle that followed that is followed by the self organizing map so next session i'll give you an example of all this algorithm working so that you will understand it better okay thank you